Let's show you some numbers that bring home the astounding inefficiency of India's parliamentarians. Look at these numbers. The total working days in the budget session, this session, 20. The total working hours, that has to be more than 20, of course. Uh, the total working hours uh, is 120. The total number of hours that these parliamentarians worked was 4 hours, 52 minutes, a little less than 5 hours. That's 1 24th of the time. And adjournments in 20 days, 44, more than twice a day. So what did they do in all these days? Did they pass any important laws? Did they discuss issues that have made headlines that affect the people of India directly? We made an interesting list for you of the time parliamentarians spent in discussing some of the burning issues of recent weeks. Bank fraud, how much time did they spend discussing it? Zero. None. Farmer suicides, no time spent discussing farmer suicides in this session. The high school exam paper leak, zero. Facebook data breach, zero. The SCST Act, a royal one and a half minutes. That's the kind of work they've done. Let's jog your memory. Go over this list slowly with why each case is of relevance to you. We're starting with what is being called the biggest banking scandal in the history of India, the Punjab National Bank scam. A well-known diamond merchant, Nirav Modi, received loans to the tune of almost 1.8 billion US dollars. This loan was granted by offshore branches of various Indian banks, on a guarantee from Punjab National Bank, meaning that the onus of repayment lies on the bank and not on Nirav Modi, which also means that a huge chunk of public money, money deposited by people like you and me in these branches is now gone with no way of getting it back, for now at least. And hours before a complaint was lodged in this case, Nirav Modi fled to the United Kingdom. But what did our parliamentarians do about it? They created a ruckus in the house, they raised slogans, the opposition stormed into the well of both the houses on a number of occasions, but there was no discussion on the matter. The difference between the haves and the have-nots has never been more stark. On one hand, a beleaguered businessman flees with almost 11,000 crore rupees. On the other, we have Indian farmers. They're struggling to make ends meet. They're committing suicide. The government informed members of parliament that there was a drop in the number of farmer suicides in the year 2016, a 10% dip, which is good. But the number of suicide cases will shock you. Despite a decent monsoon, more than 11,000, 11,000 farmers in this country committed suicide in the year 2016 alone. The agrarian distress in India shows no sign of abating. Reduced focus on the primary sector of the economy, Benefits of central schemes not trickling down to the target population. A failing public distribution system have compounded the woes of the farmers. But do our MPs care? We guess not. Because there was no discussion on this issue either. Now to our children. April is supposed to be a light month for them. A month when their exams are over, they go for vacations, they prepare for the next class. But this month turned into a nightmare for a lot of high school kids in India. India's Central Education Board declared one exam each for class 10 and 12, null and void. The board claimed that the papers were leaked. The board ordered a re-examination. Thousands of students and parents took to the streets. But the legislators paid no heed to the issue. It was not brought up in Parliament. Next is the massive data breach regarding Facebook. What started with an accusation of Facebook data being misused to influence American elections sent shockwaves across the world. How could India have been different? Democracies were at risk, but were the parliamentarians of the world's biggest democracy concerned? Apparently not. Barbs were traded between the opposition and the ruling party, but the mudslinging happened outside parliament. While nations across the world moved swiftly to safeguard the digital data of their citizens, Indian lawmakers were busy disrupting the proceedings of Parliament. Even the caste protests, which brought cities across the country to a standstill with violent demonstrations across towns, predominantly in the states of Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, the government decided to steer clear of the controversy with just a six-minute statement by the Home Minister Rajnath Singh. This issue was taken up for discussion in Lok Sabha. It wrapped up in less than 90 seconds, one and a half minutes. 
That was the kind of discussion on issues that concern you. This is your parliament for you. 210 crore rupees wasted to conduct 20 days of proceedings that have had less than five hours of discussion. 44 adjournments, a wasted session later. It is you, the people of India, who have incurred the biggest loss. And the MPs of the ruling party say they do not want their salary.